now that I got it opened up, the recoil cushion I was talking about in here, right in there, you got a little rubber piece basically that's uh -huh. screwed into the back of this that, uh, you know, the... You exchange it for another, the, the proprietary yeah. one. Yeah, exactly. This is the one that comes in it. They sell one that's got, instead of just being a full rubber piece, it has a spring with a little rubber uh -huh. piece. So when it hits, instead of just hitting basically a solid yeah. piece of rubber, it's got that spring and it helps soften it. A little bit of cushion. Yeah. Now, honestly, for the 556, I don't really think that it's necessary. It does make somewhat of a difference. Yeah. It's, it's noticeable, but in the 556... The recoil isn't bad, yeah. bad enough to need it. But for like twenty five bucks a pop for each upgrade, why not try it? Exactly, I went with it and I liked it. Now for the three hundred blackout, that's a little bit of a different story. Um, not that the recoil is bad on it for three hundred yeah. blackout, but like on the Rattler, yeah. five and a half inch barrel, you're shooting three hundred blackout. That roller cam pin and that that little recoil cushion, it makes a noticeable difference and makes it a lot. A lot flatter shooting gun. It's not as snappy. Um, so I definitely recommend those two yeah. upgrades. And who makes that? Uh, that's Tacom. T a c c o m. A uh, little small company. Um, they sell upgrades for various things. Yeah. But uh, but yeah, definitely worth it. The Tacom recoil cushion and POF roller cam pin. Um, and those roller pins, like definitely. I remember when you got those. Those. You can actually just even manually running the gun, you know, yeah. charging it. You can actually, you really can kind of feel a d little bit of a difference. You yeah. really can. It's it's a lot smoother, I guess, uh, would be. Like, that makes just the action a lot smoother. And this and it, yeah. makes, you know, the com combination of the two makes a difference. I don't think either one by itself would make a huge difference. Although, if I was only going to get one, it probably would be the POF uh, roller cam. Yeah, and, I mean... Probably cut down on wear a little bit, you know. Definitely just get so. things going a little bit smoother. For sure. Um, another potential upgrade you could get, like anything else, a trigger. Um, you have to buy MCX specific triggers for most of them. So you can't just drop in a AR-15 like a Geisley or a uh, CMC or something like that? Well, not most of them. You'd have to just kind of do the research. There are some AR-15 triggers that will just drop in depending on what generation MCX and what, you know, vertice you have. But yeah. for the most part, you need to get a uh, MCX specific trigger. Um and, you know, as far as upgrades, that's about it, other than just any, you know, anything you want to add, a light, the uh, whatever have you, yeah. as far as upgrades go. Now, some just kind of random cool information I found, I guess, on this that's been harder to find, um, just stuff I've come across, would be, um, like, the wide open trigger and, yeah. of course, preset triggers, um, there's not really any information on it other than it will not work with this. Yeah. You cannot just drop it in and it'll work. That won't work. But it is possible if, you know, the stars align and those are, you know, the ATF don't do whatever they're trying to do with them and you can get them. Yeah, hopefully. Um, if you want one, it is possible. All you've got to do is buy the Parker Mountain Machining full auto kit for it and install okay. that and then drop it in i hadn't done that so you know i can't go over the specifics of it but it's pretty easy to do um you know just just yeah. go that route so it is possible to install that and use it um now with a little ingenuity it'll take a little bit of uh you know i guess what would be the word um like I said, a little ingenuity, you can actually make a one of the CMMG 22 conversion kits work on this. But basically, what you have to do is uh, the charging handle uh -huh. will not work for that. The bolt and all that stuff will work, but you would have to do a little bit of engineering on a charging handle yourself. Yeah, that's weird. So, huh. If you're interested, I hadn't done it. And like I said, it, it definitely will take a little bit of rigging up. Yeah. But um, 
go to um, and on AR15.com, just search for MCX Custom 22LR Conversion Kit yeah. Charging Handle. And this dude made a whole big old post about how he, you know, basically rigged that up to work. Okay. Um, just something kind of cool, I thought. It's yeah. probably nothing that uh, most of us would do, but hey, there's tinkers yeah. out there. So. Somebody wants it. Yeah. And that's uh, on ARFCOM. Yep. Yes, sir. One other thing, last point that I want to make with the Rattler and the Virtus. <clears throat> it says, they tell you that ba barrels are not interchangeable between the two. Yeah, you yeah. Can, yeah. Okay. To just buy a barrel and you know, if I just bought a Virtus barrel and tried to throw it yeah. in a Rattler, it won't work. But if you buy the... That is odd. Yeah. If you buy the recoil assembly for the Virtus, throw it in a Rattler, then any of the Virtus barrels will work, will work and vice versa. But, of course, you can't just buy the barrel and throw it in there expecting it to work because the recoil assembly... The piston won't hit the. Oh, the okay. Because I was sitting there thinking, I couldn't think of why that wouldn't work. If like, if you got a three hundred blackout bolt barrel or a five five six end barrel, like why wouldn't it work? That but piston, like that, make it's not contacting it, so yep. it would work. But you'd basically have a bolt action. Exactly. So uh, that but, makes a lot of sense. But it is possible if it's something you know. Say you got a rattler. And you just really want to throw a, you know, a nine-inch Virtus barrel in it. Yeah. Uh, just buy that recoil assembly for the Virtus, throw it in there, and you'll be good to go. I would recommend a new handguard. Once again, uh, Midwest Industries makes longer ones. I think they got a ten-inch yeah. one or something you can throw on there. Um. But you know that's about that's about all the information that I've come across. Uh, like I said, some of it's been kind of hard to find, um, but I wanted to put it all in one place for everybody. And yeah. As far as just the platform, I love it. This is my Virtus. Um, yeah, like right. I said, I it, love it. It's a sexy gun, man. I might just uh, just throw the Rattler in this one, because I don't want too much to say. But. Yeah. I think we should go ahead and do part two on it. All right, well, we'll do a part two. I'll bring the Rattler out. Probably won't be a super long video, but, uh, you know, like I said, the platform itself, I love it. And I guess we'll see you on the next video with uh, the Rattler. All right. See ya.